July 1, um, Leafs fans know that all too well. The clock is ticking towards then. A couple no-movement clauses kick in. Most importantly, Austin Matthews, which would bring him one year away from UFA status. And from all reports, and again, nobody knows truly but Austin Matthews and maybe his representation, but it sounds like he's not. If he does sign an extension, it's not going to happen on July 1. That shouldn't shock people. We sort of went through this to an extent in the NHL world with Nathan McKinnon last year and David Pasternak. Like, it happens. But what would your level of concern be if you get to July 1 and one way or another, you really don't know what way Matthews is leaning here? Well, I, I think it's going to grow. You know, it's just going to keep growing, growing every day that goes by, especially past July 1st, if they don't get it done. We understand that there's a lot of pressure that it doesn't get done. You talk about those big players not getting their deals done early. But, you know, he has been so vocal about commi being committed to Toronto and he's there to win a cup and he wants to be committed to it. So as a fan, you know, you take him at his word, right? He's been he's been all in and he has done everything he can to help this team win. But at some point, there needs to be maybe some silence broke about him you know, wanting to still be here. And, you know, I feel like it's always one of those things they, they don't expose a lot at the end of the year when they're asked about it. Um, but I think at this point, as time continues on, there needs to be worry, you know, and it, it's his commitment to Toronto. And if he doesn't get a deal done, like, oh God, you know, if he ends up, you know, wasting away and, and going to UFA, you know, he's going to burn a bridge. And this is definitely uh, not a city or a country you want to do that to uh, in that sense. No, and ultimately, Hudson, it comes <laughs> down to trust. Uh, it, it really, really comes down to trust. Like, I think, obviously, the new GM, Brennan Shanahan and company, will talk to Austin Matthews and be like, dude, like, what are you doing? Or, you know, are you serious about re-signing here? If it doesn't happen on July 1, um, are you ready to make a commitment at some point in time this offseason? If there's any hesitation, like, I hate to say it in everything you just referenced, there is no way you can enter Austin Matthews' walk year and he dictates everything because he's got the no-movement clause and potentially lose this guy for nothing. In my world, it just doesn't work that way. So if there's slight hesitation or there's zero commitment, I think you have to do the unthinkable and look at swapping this guy and trading this guy. And I would think the new GM, everybody involved, would have a plan in place if Matthews elects to leave. I would hope so, at least, uh, because uh, never say never in this NHL world. But that's my fascination is like, if he doesn't commit or doesn't tell them he's he's committing, I know in the media the last couple of weeks he said that specifically when the season concluded he wants to stay a member of the Maple Leafs. But you cannot run the risk. I mean, just look at what's happened in Calgary. You can't run the risk of Matthews leaving for nothing. He's just too important to you. No, it's it's true. And even if it does pass July first, I feel like you need to set these with other GMs, big market teams, right? He's not going to Columbus. He's not going to a team that isn't a big market. You know, you need to be talking to LA. You need to know like where he wants to go. Of course he has a no movement clause, but just in case get some teams on your radar that would potentially want to make a deal with you for Austin Matthews and have that in place. I feel like you need to have a plan B because we've seen it before. And you know, I even, I feel like watching Ryan Suter every time when he's in Nashville getting booed every single time. He, Austin Matthews yeah. not Ryan Suter, but he was a star screwed him over getting booed every time he's on the ice and mini. Does Austin Matthew, he has like this legacy already built in Toronto. This is totally going to ruin it. But he can still save face if it, if it goes about it the right way. And I feel like that's got to be more important. I understand he's going to make a lot of money. He has a lot of money. At the end of the day, sometimes that legacy is just as important. So uh, we'll see what happens. I Hopefully they play this right.